a brief video on the ORC iBark springs and Coney Raid shock absorbers, which I just had fit last week to our 1983 460 G wagon. Uh, my previous springs were about 20 years old, and this is a new iBarks from ORC, which I had imported from Germany, and they posted them. They got here within a week, and then the Coney Raids were fit to replace the old Coney shocks that were 35 years old. Uh, this is a G stance after both have been fit. Uh, it is a 40 year old car. A road test means very little. I'm not a journalist. So you don't want to hear me talking about the ride quality of an old G. I had pre-existing Lovell Springs, I think they were, which reportedly gave a 50 millimeter lift. I had them fit, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago and thought it was time to updo everything. The shocks were very old. I'm wondering if my dad actually had these put on um, over 30 years ago. Um, you can see they're looking very sorry. The heat of the V8 has melted the insulation on the front one. You can see the old conies and this is the part number I think of the fronts and then the rears, but they're probably not made anymore anyway. So my G is currently on 32 inch uh, BFG ATs. And if I place the measuring device at the top of the wheel arch, very poorly this is, I would suggest we're at 95, 96 centimeters. If we go to the base of the, uh, the rubber under here, at the rear wheel, we've got 49. We're gonna come forward. Base of the front, I imagine, is very similar. All right, 47. And base of the front wheel arch with a slight deviation, 97. Um, don't know where else to measure from for reference. Um, here off the bash plate, that's not bad. 30, 35 centimeters off the bottom of the bash plate in the center. Off the fuel tank is 43, 42 centimeters. There's our springs that were on there, the Lovell Springs. Merc four-wheel drive 001F front, I imagine, and Merc four-wheel drive 001 rear. Um, Australian made, are they? Which is great to see, but I don't know why they're making G-Wagon springs. They were blue. First impressions on starting to lift up the hoist. There seems to be a bit more travel in there. Um, I don't recall there being that much space between the uh, arches and the, the wheels as I started to lift this thing up, but we're gonna find out. I'm hoping the brake lines don't need replacement. So you can now see the Eibach springs in blue and the red or orange Coney Rage shocks. Um, I couldn't get the bump stops. Um, I was confused by the part numbers on the 460. I think it's superseded and you can see the brake lines aren't under too much tension. Now these are dramatically larger in size, these shocks, than the previous ones. Now there's no boots over the top of the struts there. And the rears, similar, much larger springs. Oh, my diff breather is detached, which I have to reattach. That's fine. There's the Coney. rear. These really are large struts. I 
and you can actually see that. I trust you can read that from there, the eye mark. I don't know where my caliper is. The old one's measured at about 55 millimeters. Things in contrast, they would be, I would suggest about 80 millimeters. They are very wide. The rears and the fronts I trust are just the same. Why are they slightly less? Perception is playing tricks on me. An old rear versus a new rear, substantially different. Similarly, you know, substantially different in size.